is the Dirty South. It's a place, a feeling, an essence, a culture, a clear and present voice that had existed for centuries, but had been largely ignored. Until Andre 3000, brash young Atlantan and one half of the duo Outkast, stepped onto the Source Award stage. Upon accepting the award for best new rap group, he announced, the South got something to say. It was a simple yet resonant phrase that gave rise to the powerful voice of the Dirty South. And we have been meditating on his range ever since. And it just begins to open the floodgates, you know, to begin to really think and to meditate on the South as a site, as a source of inspiration, as a source in which we are all drawing from. It is something that even older people understand as being this sort of amalgamation of cultures. The Dirty South really looks back at capturing not only how that is manifested visually, but how it's also manifested sonically. We really sort of thought of or distilled some of the, the things that they were thinking through. What do they most um, reference upon? Often it's the land. It's both the man-made land, it's also the natural landscape, which oftentimes feels very surreal. There's a sort of magicalness about the landscape. We are looking at belief systems, whether they manifest in the sacred or in the secular, whether it's understanding oneself interdimensionally, you know, being in both this place and in another place, that one can extend one's body, you know, through not only adornment, but extend one's body through thought processes. The third part is the body itself. What does blackness feel like? What does it look like? It is the cadence of a voice. It is the movement of the body. And I think those things still hold very true. Even though we're drilling down 100 years, we know it goes back for centuries. It is that persistence of traditions that go on and on and on and evolve with each successive generation. We've really been thinking long and hard about how to really embrace all cultures here at the museum, but certainly looking at the South, looking at our own backyard as spaces of inspiration. I think everyone will see themselves reflected in this work. While it comes out of an African-American expression, it really frames our collective expression.